Why do Catholic priests not marry? Why do Catholic priests spend their entire life alone, in bed, eating the Lord's chips? Why do you do this? I'm still trying to figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, a, it's an invitation. You know, like when it comes to priestly celibacy, why do Catholic priests have to be celibate is the next one in yeah. line, you know? Um, you know, the, the whole sense is like it's an invitation into greater communion with Christ. Mm -hmm. Christ himself was celibate. And living out the celibate call, his life was ordered toward living the heavenly reality. Yeah. And yeah, it's like something that is definitely not appealing to the worldly view of, of yeah. one's life. And But when it is an invitation of Christ and Christ calls, you know, those to choose this state and follow him is an invitation to, yes, a challenging life, but also one that is extremely beautiful and powerful and mysterious that, that is ecstatic in moments of the depths of communion that you can have with Christ in the middle of your in in the middle of your suffering mm -hmm. or struggle. Yeah, I mean St. Paul says it in scripture. I mean celibacy has a long history as a devotion, as a way of consecrating yourself and as a way of really entering into in a deep way the participation of the ministry of God and the priesthood. Whether you're looking at the priesthood, the the you know of Aaron in the Old Testament, whether you're looking at the Nazarites in the Old Testament who made all these kinds of sacrifices or you're looking at the words of St. Paul. I mean, or the contemporaries of yeah. Jesus and John the Baptist and the Essene community. A hundred percent. Yeah, like, you know, celibacy has been a reality. John the Beloved and the traditions of the church and, yeah. and being celibate and being singularly devoted. You know, being singularly devoted, and I'm glad that you brought up St. Paul too, is, you know, like to, to live, you know, in, in that exclusivistic manner uh, in communion with Christ and, and entering more deeply into that mystery is is really a privilege and, a, and an honor. Yeah, and there is a lot of Catholic priests who do get married, very much in the East, whether mm -hmm. you're looking at the, you know, the Byzantine and the Ruthenian and, mm -hmm. you know, all the, the Eastern Rite churches. Mm -hmm. There's also a lot of married Catholic churches who are converts from Anglicanism mm -hmm. Who are in the ordinariate? We had a great uh, episode Justin. with Father Justin. On yeah. That. yeah, that was a great conversation. So Catholic priests do marry, uh, but the majority of them do not voluntarily. This is not like a, this is not dogmatic. This is a voluntary life decision, you know, that you guys make. It's true. Yeah. <laughs>